What's going on, everybody? Hope you all are having a fantastic day today. And today we're probably going to be doing more of a, uh, I guess, laid-back style commentary compared to, you know, something more action-packed. Had a very long day today. Me and the lady friend went over to the beach to relax a little bit. Mondays, for people who follow me over on Twitch a lot, you know that Mondays are my Fridays, basically. I don't usually get too many days off. Oh, geez. oh, I'm playing too much Modern Warfare. I'm sliding too much. <laughs> but yeah, basically Mondays are my Fridays, and I've just been relaxing a lot lately. Oh my god, oh, I do not miss that whatsoever, Jesus. Oh man. Well, today is basically uh, a live commentary, I guess, of me playing Black Ops 4, and we're going to see if I can think of anything out of this video game that Treyarch should take out and bring into a more recent Call of Duty game. Well, Call of Duty 2020 to be exact, and that's one of the things I pray to God will never enter a Call of Duty game ever again. It's Specialist Cheese. God, talking about... Oh my God, my aim is so bad, guys. I oh, I haven't played this game in forever, as you could tell. I'm not used to all the Specialist Cheese anymore. I'm not used to the uh, time to kill. There's a lot of things I, uh, I gotta get the hang of when it comes to this video game. But, like I said, I'm probably not gonna do anything too crazy. I'm a little drained out. I love going to the beach. You guys know one thing that I can always say about the beach is that I will always be exhausted when I get back home from it. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed, man. Like, it's something about that shore air that just drains you no matter what. It's insane, man. Well, it's not insane. It's a good thing, actually. It feels amazing. It's just I should probably record beforehand. <laughs> Instead of recording after all of this nonsense. I'm not going to lie. The time to kill is actually pretty clean in this game. I just wish that in Call of Duty 2020, they would try 125 HP, you know? 150 is cool and all. Don't get me wrong. It's fun. It's cool. It's fun in games, but... It's just a little too much, in my personal opinion. It gets to the point where you'll see people starting to stack a little bit. But we haven't seen that this game. But usually when you're versing some experienced players, they begin to uh, stack up on their bodies to make it even harder to kill all of them. Which gets uh, very aggravating, in my personal opinion. Let's go kill this guy. Let's see if he comes in. No, he must have ghost. Maybe. No, no. I don't know what's going on here. Damn! I'll tell you one thing. You just destroyed those guys. Alright, let's go chase this guy down in the back. He's trying to shoot down a streak. I might be able to get my streaks here if I play it a little smart. That's another thing I love about this video game is that assist count towards your actual store, uh, score streaks and not kill streaks in this game. It's very refreshing, to be completely honest with you, to be playing a game with score streaks. And also, the EKIA system is absolutely outstanding in this video game. I hope you see that as well. Like, all I need is like one bullet to an enemy. No, instantly giving my sauce. All right, let's call on this UAV. See where they're at. I got my uh, specialist here. We're gonna hit them with the specialist cheese. Did they nerf this? It feels a little nerfed, to be honest with you guys. But maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just tripping. Oh no, it's, st it's still just as OP as I remember. <laughs> just as OP. It's honestly amazing that's a working UAV. In this game, but... oh my god, they're coming in hot. Ooh, almost died there. Let me dip, get some kills in. Like, it's so weird. Specialists, I'll have, like, mixed emotions on. Because I think they're cool and all when you're using them. Like, nothing's more fun than pub stomping with a specialist. But then at the same time, it's just really aggravating. Because then I die from it a lot, you know? Dang it! Oh, I missed out on my final streak. It's okay. We're going to be playing two games anyways. You guys know how these matches last in BO4. And also, I joined this game late in progress, so I'm a little late on it. But I still wanted to give it a go. I'm not gonna lie, just just the gameplay of this game, you know? It's a lot of downsides to Black Ops 4, but the one thing that I can say that I love so much about it is that at the end of the day, it's fun. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I can still play it. Which definitely is a massive game changer when it comes to uh, any video game. Oh, I keep forgetting it's shoot, punch, shoot, punch. It's so many techniques that I need to relearn in this video game that I completely forgot about. Like, that was one of the most prime tactics when it came to PC Black Ops 4. So when you're up close, basically when you punch, you get, like, an aim lock. It, like, automatically aim assists you, and it, like, shoots you straight towards their body. I keep forgetting that that's a technique in this game. I play too much Modern Warfare now that I just can't think of Fuck, I'm dead. Why would you push that? Oh, he had a Spectre, or whatever it's called, the Spitfire in this game. That's why. <laughs> I was wondering why he charged me so bad. The reason why is he was trying to close the gap. Close the gap, oh sauce. Oh my god. Dang. This is this is why, man. This is why. <laughs> like I said, I like specialists when I can use it, but when enemies use it, it's the most obnoxious thing to ever hit this freaking planet. Oh my god, that's so bad. I, I, I definitely don't want to see specialists. I pray to god. If I see specialists in COD 2020, you guys are going to hear so many rants from me, it's going to be insane. I just can't stand specialists. 
Oh, he still let me get one shot in. I can still get my points. I'm telling you guys, that's, that's literally the best feature about Black Ops 4 is the EKI, uh, EKI system. I'm with you, I'm with you. In place. Not, I'm not with you, I'm not, not with you. We need to try to close the gap on these guys. Activating There's no way this guy pushes me like that. There you go, the punch saw. Oh shit. I hear a dog. I hear a dog, he's hounding me. Oh my god, that dog hounding me. No! How many bullets? I should've shot a rocket at it, dude. To be completely honest with you, I should've shot a rocket. That was kind of depressing. Ah, oh, man. I like the game, though. I like the game, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I'm having fun. That's what matters. I just, I can't stand the specialist cheese. I'm telling you, that's the only downside of this game. As you can hear, as you can obviously hear in the commentary, you know, I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying the experience, but the only thing that really triggers me to an extent of me just hating the video game is basically just specialist. There. Close this out. By far the Shut worst part down. of this Call of Duty game, or any Call of Duty game to be exact, but I think I should be able to run up some kills here in the church before this game ends. He is hounding my ass. I'm ready. I'm ready for my final bits of sauce here. At least I get something looking saucy here before the game ends. A little something something so I don't look like a complete utter noob. Come on. Come on in. Come on in. Come on, I'm almost to my specialist streaks. Not my specialist streak, I don't know what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm playing Modern Warfare all over again. <laughs> I got my uh, sniper's uh, pilot or whatever. Dude, I'm sorry guys. I'm so sorry. I can't talk today. It's, it's freaking, it's one in the morning. I've been out all day. I'm so exhausted. I'm not even lying to you guys when I say I'm tired as hell. I really do apologize for the commentary being so weird and the fact that I can't talk, but at least you guys get a little bit of sauce. And I got all my streaks. Let's go. Thresher. Got it at the very end of the game, but I still got it. 33 6. Once again, I joined in late, so it's whatever. But let's play one more of this so we can make a full video, obviously, for YouTube because one game is probably going to be like seven minutes. Guys, let's hop straight into the next gameplay. Meet you guys there. Guys, do you want to know one of the best things about Modern Warfare? I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is probably my favorite part about the game. Nothing really much, but crossplay is the best feature. It took me so long to find this lobby. It's absolutely insane, to be honest with you. And here we go with the armor. God, I hope we never, ever see armor like that in a Call of Duty game. That is just ridiculous. I, I, I've always hated that feature in this video game. So aggravating. But yeah, crossplay really does save Call of Duty. Like, it takes forever to find a game. I literally had to back out because I was waiting a good, like, 20 minutes to find a lobby. And like I said, it's 1 in the morning. I, I ain't got time to be, <laughs> to be sitting here all night long. I have work in the morning and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to get a couple of clips for, oh, for you guys here. But as I was saying, crossplay just really does save the lifespan of the video game. Because Modern Warfare, you can just find games in, like, no time. This game, it's dead, bro. It's dead. And it's only, like, Attack what, a year old? Planted. It's not even that old, bro. It's almost a brand new game, and it's just done for. It's, it's kind of sad, to be honest with you. But yeah, as I was sitting there, though, I was wondering and thinking about this feature that came into... Oh, shit. That came into uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, or every Call of Duty game, to be exact. And that was the freaking lobby system. Oh, my God. Why is it that every time you get out of a game in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, it completely disbands the party? And you can't play with people that you just versed. You can't communicate with them anymore. You can't verse them. It's basically GG after that point. I really do hate that about Modern Warfare, that you just can't stick with lobbies. I think that's probably one of the best things about this game. I hope they bring that in Call of Duty 2020. Outstanding, outstanding feature, even though it's not even a new feature. It's just, you know, it's a classic feature that's been in almost all the Call of Duty games, basically. But you know Activision and Infinity Ward, and not just Infinity Ward, Treyarch 2, you know, all the development studios who work for a Call of Duty video game. They always got to change something, you know? They can never just keep something the same. They always got to mess around, test things here, test things there. Which is understandable, as always, like I said before. You know, you can't just do the same thing over and over again. The game will get stale, but, you know, it comes to a certain point where some things just should not be changed in a video game. And we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> These guys are playing, like, peekaboo with me, bro. And this freaking... I should probably not be using this gun. I'm dead. Can you shoot him, please? Thank you. So he's just smacking the shit out of me. Dude, this is MX9. Like, I used to love this gun, but oh my god, it's not its not what I used to remember. But the good part is that I just got my points for all of those kills there. God, I love this game, bro. I didn't have to kill one of those people, and it still counted for me. Which is good, because I unloaded. Like, I literally got all of those people to, like, more than half health off. 
I deserve those kills if we're going to be honest UAV here, not to be greedy or anything. But let's be real here. I definitely deserve those kills. Put a lot of work into those guys, especially with 150 health. God, all the ammo that you have to dump out, it better give me my points because that's a waste of ammunition. <laughs> Another thing that I really enjoy about Black Ops 4 too is the visibility. Just being able to see your targets, it's so refreshing. They're trying to trick us out, huh? Don't worry, I heard that. You ain't sneaky. You ain't sneaky out here. J Bowen knows everything. But as I was saying, the visibility in this video game is just, oh, it's so good because you don't have to depend on looking for the enemy. All you gotta really do is just look. Oh shit! I almost fell for that. All you gotta really do is just look for the um the color of their armbands and stuff like that because they have red all over their uh their suits and stuff. Which makes it extremely easy to see them and stuff like that. It's just so many of those type of things that make this game good to me. Friendly tactically beacon offline. Give me good vibes. So let's be honest here. The uh, the visibility in Modern Warfare is just a... Uh, it's, it's, let's just keep it simple. It's really not good, man. I get killed so many times just because simply I cannot see. That's never good, bro. You know, you always want to see. That's the whole point of Call of Duty games. You know, have reaction time. Fastest person to shoot wins. But in Modern Warfare, eh, it's a little hard. I really hope that we have some good visibility. And not even just visibility of the character, just knowledge of who they are. I know we're probably never going to see this again. And they're more than likely going to be uh, sticking. But I'm trying to get my final kill so I can move on already and get my final streak. But these guys are camping like a bunch of bitches, bro. Oh, it's because they're all backing out, but... So whatever, we're stomping out this lobby regardless. I would really want to get you some better gameplay, guys. I really do, trust me. You guys know me. I tried to get you guys the co uh, top quality, but once again, like I said... The servers are completely dead, dude. Like, I've been searching for a good, like, 30 minutes to an hour. And this is the second game that I found, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm done after this. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm done. Oh, that should have been his kill. I feel kind of bad for him. Should have killed me there. But back to what I was saying. I'm sorry, I got off, uh, off topic a little bit there. What I would like to see, even though they're probably never going to remove this, is the return of just the default skinned characters. Because with these new specialist characters, I can never tell what people are using and how to engage with them. You know, back in the day, a rifleman's player was dressed a certain way, a person using an SMG was dressed a certain way, sniper rifles were dressed a certain way. You know, everybody had their own specific look. But now everybody could just be a character, and they could use whatever gun they want, and their look isn't going to change. You know, they're just going to be looking like the same exact character. So every gunfight I get into, it's a guessing game. You know, I can't, I can't look at the enemy and say, okay, so he has a rifle, I have an SMG, I can move up on him. You know, I look at him, I'm like, okay, uh... That's a player. I'm just going to, uh, you know, take take a lucky guess and say that, you know, I can combat him. You know what I'm saying? Kind of sucks, to be honest with you. I would love to go back to the old times of having a... Oh, I'm so dead. Except he's bad. He's Except he's bad. Get me out of here. Oh, my God. Teammate, help me. Oh, my God. I can't believe I survived that. That's actually kind of sad. Oh, my teammate might need help. Oh, no. We just deleted him. Give him that homemade honey barbecue. They all keep leaving and joining. <laughs> I think they're tired of versing us. Looks like your boy still got the sauce, man. 17 and 1, even though this guy's 21 and 6. I'm trying to catch up, man. I just literally can't find anybody. I don't know how these guys are getting all these kills. That's mine. Dibs. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Okay, okay, we're good. I was about to say, I don't think that my uh, bullets are going to kill that guy, but luckily we got him. I'm just going to be burnt to a toast, and I'm going to have to play it super safe here. But yeah, I would love to see the return of uh, classic skins and stuff like that. I think that's so awesome. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else I would really enjoy from this video game. I enjoy the pacing. I enjoy the style of uh, game it is. I do believe that the maps are a little too basic in this game. I wish they would have uh, branched out and made something more unique in this video game instead of the, all the same three-lane style, uh, three -lane style maps and stuff like that. But I'll take it still. The assist, bro. I put so, Once again, I put so many bullets into that, man. Just for them to tell me it's an assist. Like, that is the most, like, ugh, it, it just hurts so much, man. Talking about time limit gameplays too. I'm surprised that this game is going almost to 10 minutes. Jesus Christ. Usually it does not last like this. Usually you can uh go on with your day. These guys are playing it extremely tactical. Every move they make is very, very tactical. Oh, he got me good. Dang it! I can't believe you actually slayed me out like that. I feel like I should have won that, but my aim must have got a little choppy there. That's more than likely what happened. I should probably kept my range because it was an LMG and I'm sitting here going up close and personal trying to bum rush the man. Honestly, I'm having a blast playing this game, guys. I've been having a blast playing live gameplays as well. Thank you guys for all the support on the channel recently. You guys have been really helping me out big time when it comes to all my content. Allow me to post what I want, do what I want, play what I want. 
even with the live comps. I know that all of you guys prefer my rants and stuff like that, and you prefer to hear me uh, complain about video games, but it's always nice to just be able to kick back and play a game for what it is, you know? So I appreciate you guys allowing me to be able to do that and still have a good time playing. You know, especially during this time where, like, pretty much all the topics are so dry when it comes to Call of Duty. You can barely find anything to talk about, so it's nice to be able to play something for once. And again, I do want to apologize for being all drowsy and everything like that during this uh, commentary. I, I don't mean to be drowsy or ho hopefully I'm still entertaining to you guys, you know. I don't know if I'm boring or dull this commentary. I hope I'm not. It's just like I said, you know, today was my Friday. It's uh, currently 1.30 in the morning. And I was at the beach all day, and I was really enjoying myself. It was actually a blast. I had a, I actually had a really good video planned for you guys today that was going to require a lot of my time. I did not think I was going to get back at 1 in the morning, to be honest with you guys. I thought I was going to get back earlier, so I was going to have a better video for today. But trust me, that video is going to be coming Tuesday. So make sure you guys keep your eyes peeled for Tuesday's video. It is. I can tell you right now, it is going to be a banger. I can promise you this. You guys might think I'm lying, but trust me, I'm not lying. It is bangers only coming this Tuesday. Let's hop up and just kill this guy. I'm just going to challenge him. I'm not in the mood to be playing peekaboo. I'm not a peekaboo type of guy. Let's get the sauce. Let's get the sauce cooking. Whoa, he burnt me, of course. Oh, a lucky burn, bro. A lucky burn. Once again, I pray to God. I pray to the gods above. We will never, ever, ever in a million years see this stupid specialist abilities return. <laughs> I hope that's a thing of the past from now on and forever. Come on, guys. Just get the two kills. This is such a long game. This is Black Ops 4. This isn't supposed to be going on like this. <laughs> we went, uh, here we go. 38 and 5. Not bad. The rest of my team, 32, 11, 27, 12. This guy wants to be friends. Sure, bro. I'll gladly be friends with you. We're now friends. Let's go. Level 1,000. He went 9 and 10 at level 1,000. Oh, my God. Now that is interesting. But guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Let me know down in the comment section if you think that Treyarch should, you know, take any Im uh, implementations from Black Ops 4 into the next game. But guys, this is a great playing with you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.